It appears not. Leave is granted. Uh, Honourable Ian Tolley. Mr Speaker, I move that the House do now adjourn until 2pm on Tuesday, the 7th of February 2012, and that the House adopt the sitting programme for 2012 recommended by the Business Committee. Mr Speaker, what a year we have had. Can I start first by thanking our Speaker for presiding over this House throughout 2011, can I thank the Clerk's Office, the Hansard Office, Parliamentary Council Office, security staff and messengers, all the House staff, VIP drivers, Bellamy's staff, the Diplomatic Protection Squad, Parliamentary Services and Ministerial Services, the cleaners who work here through the nights and the grounds people who make our Parliament grounds look so good and keep them accessible for the public to enjoy and wish them all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And as the Minister of Police, can I say to them, drive safely, lock up their valuables and keep themselves and their families safe. Uh, can I also add uh, my congratulations to the Speaker for his re-election and to you, sir, for, uh, as Deputy Speaker and the to assistant speakers, and we look, all look forward to another good year of management of this House. Uh, and as I started, it has been an extremely eventful year um, that has had its challenges. There is no doubt that some of the challenges this country have faced have been unprecedented, uh, but we have also seen a wonderful success. So to the people of Christchurch, of course, our thoughts are with them. Um, we have had, or they have had two more severe earthquakes, both in February, disastrous, and then again in June. But of course, they live with those thousands of aftershocks that occur on almost a daily basis. And so at this time, uh, the House's thoughts are with them. Uh, as they continue to, most of those families continue to battle to get their, some sort of normality back into their lives. Our thoughts also go to those families uh, from the Pipe River mining disaster who will face a second Christ Christmas without their boys home, and all those who have suffered this year through uh, the elements, uh, both from my area, uh, in the Bay of Plenty, where we have seen uh, unprecedented rainfalls causing enormous slips and damage to life and, and uh, property, and of course just recently the Nelson floods. But let us, uh, and I also want to mention the Rena and the disaster that that uh, wrecked on the beach of, beaches of Bay of Plenty, uh, but the extraordinary resilience of New Zealanders has to stand alongside that, both from Christchurch to the example of the arena where we saw thousands of New Zealanders who were so concerned about what was happening to their local beaches that they volunteered for the clean-up in a way that has not been seen anywhere around the world. And it, that sort of action makes you proud to be a New Zealander. But I guess if there was ever a time that we all felt really proud to be a New Zealander, was during the Rugby World Cup. Not just when we won it, but that was sure a magic moment. But during that whole time of the Rugby World Cup, when New Zealanders opened their hearts and our communities to the rest of the world. And some of those extraordinary small gestures that were made to our visitors by New Zealanders made us proud to be part of this great country. And then we come, of course, to the wonderful end to this year with the re-election of a John Key-led national government. That was the best news for us. Uh, and we also want to pay tribute then to our support parties of ACT, United Future, and of course our colleagues in the Māori Party. And what a wonderful country again that we live in, where we have a safe, and organised democracy. And we even got to make a choice about the a system of voting that we want to have in a, an orderly and sensible manner. And you contrast that with the sacrifices that some of the people around the world in countries like Libya and Egypt 
have had to make the ultimate sacrifice in some cases to actually have play, be able to play a part in deciding who governs their countries. And it is beyond me why still we have so many people who make the choice not to go and vote. At a time like this, so many people this time decided not to go and vote. However, can, uh, can I extend our congratulations to all those MPs who are returning? Great to see so many familiar faces surviving the election process. And a welcome to all of those 26, I believe, uh, new MPs who are taking their places in this extraordinary debating uh, chamber for their very first time. I want to pay tribute, I want to pay tribute to uh, a man on the opposition benches, Phil Goff. He has a fine parliamentary record and as a leader of an opposition party, um, which is probably one of the most, one of the toughest jobs in Parliament probably runs a close second to being a National Party Minister of Education, but it's, you know, it's, it's up there. But he ran a fine campaign for, <laughs> for a leader of the opposition. Uh, to the new leadership of the Labour Party, uh, David Shearer and Grant Robertshaw, um, welcome, congratulations. Uh, I think you're going to have to do a bit better in the House than you did today, because even some of your own members went to sleep, but however... Um, we will see next year, uh, because 2012 will undoubtedly bring many new challenges. Today's world is a very challenging place for uh, a small trading nation like New Zealand, it's tucked down at the bottom of the world, but this national-led government has laid out its plans to change our fortunes and build a bright future for New Zealand in today's speech from the throne. And we have a fantastic leader in John Key and a wonderful front bench here who will take this country forward. Uh, Mr Speaker, I want to close by uh, thanking the people of the East Coast electorate. The City of Gisborne and the communities up the East Coast who will be the first to see the 2012 year and the towns of Fakatani and Apotiki and the communities of Edgecombe and Matata who will face a 2012 fighting uh, against that creeping a disaster that is called PSA and it is not going to be an easy year for that part of my electorate but I want to thank them all very much for the privilege of representing them again here in Parliament, and I look forward to continuing that throughout 2012. Well Grant Robertson. Thank you very